Loaders range from relatively small skid steers up to very large front end loaders. Any of them can be very dangerous if not operated properly. If you have never previously operated a particular type of loader, you should study the operator's manual and other information furnished with the machine. Learn its operating and maintenance characteristics and limitations. Also, learn the location of all the controls, indicators, and warning devices. Be able to recognize the loader's warning and safety signals so you will quickly notice conditions like low pressure or high temperature. These conditions make it hazardous to continue operating the loader. Always remove unauthorized tools, supplies, trash, and other unnecessary materials from the cab. Items you do carry in the loader cab should not be loose or block your visibility. Use the handrails, face the vehicle, and maintain three points of contact as you climb into or out of the cab of the loader. You should always have two feet and one hand, or two hands and one foot on the ladder when climbing. Know the proper starting procedure for your machine. Sit in the operator's seat and adjust it so you can operate all the controls safely and comfortably. Buckle your seatbelt and any other required restraints. Seat belts save lives and must be used at all times. All gauges should read zero before starting the engine. Test the horn and warn anyone in the area that you are going to start the machine by sounding the horn. Make sure everyone is out of the way before moving the machine. Never speed or coast in your loader. Keep the machine in gear at all times. Also, operate the loader properly for the weather conditions and the train you're driving on. Travel slowly enough to maintain complete control at all times. Be particularly cautious when traveling over rough or slippery ground or on hillsides. Never run your machine parallel on a hill. Make sure your vision is unobstructed. Carry your bucket low for maximum stability and visibility while driving. Also be aware that dust, fog, or heavy rain can reduce your visibility. Reduce your speed to match the conditions. To load your machine, it's important to get good initial penetration, lift the bucket slightly, and keep most of the weight on the front tires. Always make sure your bucket is completely empty by shaking out the bucket before loading another type of material. With wet, sticky material, it may be necessary to clean the bucket with water or a shovel. For face loading on a high wall, keep the loader straight and square to the face for even load distribution. The best loading is at the bottom of the face, not part way up. For materials that are easy to penetrate, it may help to enter the face with the bucket slightly off the floor. Rack the bucket back to the face until it is filled. For material that is harder to penetrate, lift the bucket to put pressure on the front tires. Lock the lift lever, work the bucket, and lift to fill it. Never allow the tires to spin during loading of the bucket. This can seriously damage the tires. Never undercut a stockpile face. Always travel into a stockpile. Never travel horizontally across a stockpile face. Never allow anyone to work or travel on the ground between the loader and the stockpile face. When loading from stockpiles placed by conveyors, load from the sides when possible. This minimizes material segregation that occurs during conveyor stockpiling operations. For stockpile loading, keep the bucket low and flat. Penetrate the bucket low on the pile as much as you can. Keep the stockpile loading area neat and clean. Smooth the area regularly and remove excessive material. When loading specification materials, never dig into the material below the stockpile. Digging into foreign material can result in contamination of the material you are loading and the stockpile. If you travel on a haul road with a loaded bucket, carry the bucket low and close to the frame to transfer as much weight as possible to the rear axle. Never transport a load with a bucket fully raised. Only handle those loads that are properly arranged. Do not overload the bucket. Don't start, stop, or turn quickly when transporting a load. Keep the haul road and dump area clean and as smooth as possible. When traveling a haul road without a loaded bucket, keep the bucket low for best visibility, but curl the bucket back slightly to avoid digging the cutting edge into the ground on bumps or dips. When loading a hopper on a grade, begin to raise the bucket as you approach the hopper so it is at the proper dumping height when you get to the hopper. Lower the bucket as you back away after dumping. 
This process may obscure your vision, so it is very important that you know where you are in relation to the hopper. Don't allow the hopper to run dry. Try to feed material that is consistent in size and moisture when possible. Don't alternate wet and dry buckets of material. Notify the plant operator immediately if you notice foreign objects in the material being fed to the plant, or if you notice a missing pin, tooth, or cutting edge. Foreign materials can contaminate the stockpiles and seriously damage the plant. Avoid creating an undercut on high banks or stockpiles. The whole mass can become unstable and cave in. If done correctly, the amount of material falling from the stockpile is not an inundation hazard. Otherwise, the material should be pushed down from the top to avoid creating an undercut. Ramps can be used to remove material from the top of the stockpile or to push material over the face. This may be necessary to avoid undercutting stockpiles that are too high to reach from the ground. Don't operate your machine too close to an overhang or to a deep ditch. Watch trenches, cliffs, and high walls for raveling, falling rocks, and slides. Safety berms at least as high as the machine's axle should be built along any roadway that drops off, such as a high wall. Don't ever enter an area that has been posted unsafe, and never run your machine parallel on a hill. Follow the correct procedures for shutting down your loader. The machine can be damaged if shut down improperly. You should never leave the cab unless the parking brake is set and the bucket and all other implements are fully lowered. Detailed information will be given in the manufacturer's operation manual. It's also very important that you be alert and rested when you operate heavy machinery. Fatigue, carelessness, and the lack of attention to details spell disaster. These machines are not forgiving when it comes to making mistakes. Many of the accidents involving loaders are caused by the inexperience of new operators or the overconfidence of veteran drivers. 